Again, fellow RC enthusiasts, it's your host Tom Cogswell here from Spectrum RC, here for another quick hit tech tip video. And in this video, I'm going to answer a question that I get a lot, and that is, what is forward programming and how do I use it? Um, so forward programming, first off, just to kind of go over it, is a interface between your Spectrum transmitter and a device of some sort, such as an AR637T, the 6250HX flight controller for helicopters, the AS3000 that can be used in conjunction with our power safe receivers, and even the AR6610T, and likely many more devices from this point forward. Pretty much anything that's programmable, our goal at this point is to make it so it has a simple user interface that is directly on your transmitter. Forward programming isn't a transmitter programming, you are programming that device, in essence. So just kind of keep that in mind. And one thing that you'll notice is that if you have a DX radio, like this one, the DX6E, you may not see the menu for forward programming in our function list. So if I go down to our function list, I get a click and I scroll through, and I'm like, oh man, I want to use forward programming, but I don't see it, how do I get it? Well, first off, you want to make sure that your radio is up to date, but secondly, you have to be bound to a forward programming capable device, such as this AR6610T. Let me go ahead and uh, plug in a battery to it. And it'll connect to my transmitter. I've already got it bound. Go back. Well, now when I go to the menu, you'll go down, and you'll see forward programming there. Voila! So the radio needs to see a forward programming device before that menu will show up. So let's go into it. When we select forward programming, it's going to give us a little warning. It's asking us to cut the throttle or use our throttle cut switch. So that's one thing you'll want to have set up is a throttle cut switch before you're able to use forward programming. It's a safety feature just in case something weird goes on while you're in it. So at this point, once we have access to the forward program menu, all of this information is coming from the receiver. It's not on your radio, it's coming straight from your receiver, and the, all the menus that are here are going to be dictated by what that device is, and the firmware and programming that's on it. Such as this AR6610T, this is very basic, but it's essentially the same thing. You'll have receiver settings, and you can change how the fail-safe types are here. You can do capture fail safe position, so if I move my sticks and things like that, or I flip the switch. So let's say I wanted my gear to be up when I go into fail safe, my receiver goes into fail safe. I'll flip my gear up, I'll hit apply, and it'll set that to that fail safe position. And then you can set up each channel's fail safe. So let's say, like we were talking about with gear, we'll go to gear, and now it's on hold last. But if we go to preset, it'll set the, to that preset value. Or you can change the value here, if you'd like. This is really helpful if you want to have like your flaps and your gear or any other channel go to a preset location instead of hold last. Hold last is when it loses connection with your radio, it holds the last known command that the receiver had. On this particular device in forward programming mode, you can also go to enter receiver bind and it will put the receiver into a bind. One important thing to know about forward programming is that you have to go out of the forward programming menu for it to save the settings. So we have to go back and back again and leave the forward programming menu before it saves the forward programming settings. Let's take a quick look at how this looks on an IX transmitter. And you guys will notice how it all looks essentially the same. I'll plug in my battery, put my receiver into bind. Love this little remote receiver where you can hit the bind button on that and it puts everything to bind. We'll go to bind, bind her up. All right, and just like with the DX6E, we're gonna go to the model adjust menu. We'll see forward programming here down on our right. Again, we'll get a safety warning, say we need to turn on our throttle cut. I'll throttle do that. And just like with the DX6E, we can change the receiver settings. And just like I was saying, if we were to use this with the AR637T or something that's got a gyro in it, like the AS3000 or the 6250HX, 
everything that you need to program these receivers for safe AS3X stability, fail safe, uh, even full helicopter setup is all done in this menu for programming between your receiver or your device and your radio. So hopefully that clears it up. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. Or if you have any suggestions for more Spectrum quick hit tech tip videos, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy flying.